Okay, so now we will discuss in details the Newman projection of butane. So if we were to draw butane, butane, we can draw it as CH3, CH2, CH2, and CH3. Now to draw the Newman projection of butane, we will be looking at the rotation around this bond in here. So therefore, if we look at this carbon, so this would be my eye, and I will be looking at the rotation around this bond in here. And therefore, drawing the Newman projection of this molecule would be, I'll draw the back carbon, then the front carbon. Next, I'll draw the bonds. One, two, three, so I will start from the eclipsed one. One, two, and three. Now, for the substituents, I have CH3 on each and two hydrogens. So I will put the front one. Now, for the first one, I will start with a zero degree dihedral angle between two CH3s. So that's going to be the zero degree conformation. Now what would happen if I have 60 degrees rotation? 60 degrees rotation. Then the new projection would be drawing the back carbon the front carbon. Now when we rotate around the bond only the bonds on the back carbon will change so the bonds on the front carbon will remain the same and therefore I will always have the same bonds on the front carbon but on the back carbons the bonds will the bonds angle will change and therefore I will go from eclipsed to staggered and now so that's CH3 the CH3 now moved here I have the two hydrogens on the front carbon and the two hydrogens on the back carbon now the angle between these two CH3 is 60 degrees so that's why this is going to be called the 60 degrees conformation. Another 60 degrees rotation would take me back to eclipsed conformation. So again I'll draw the back carbon, the front bonds, and the back bonds. So I'll have the CH3, H, H, and now this CH3 moved here. So that's a CH3, H, and H. So the angle now between the CH3 and this CH3 is 120 degrees. If I rotate one more 60 degrees, I go back to staggered conformation. So that's now one, two, and three. So I have CH3, H, H, and the CH3 is here now. And these are the two hydrogens. And this is the 180 degrees conformation. Another 60 degrees will take me back to eclipsed conformation again. So in a similar way, just to draw it quickly. And here we have a CH3 always, that it doesn't change place on the front carbon, the two hydrogens, and now the CH3 is here on the back carbon. And this is the 240 degrees. One more 60 degrees will take me to staggered conformation again.
so I'll have always CH3 here H H and then the CH3 now and the CH3 now is here H and H and this is the 300 degrees now one more 60 degrees will take me back to the original one which is the zero degrees so here you can simply see that we have 60 degrees in here we have another 60 degrees in here and these two are called gauche conformations so that's gauche and that's gauche and here I have 180 degrees and this is called anti conformation this is where you have 180 degrees between the two substituents